Yeah, Boo, please do not disturb the stones for seven days. I'm doing the um, Native American Secrets of Crystal Healing and purifying the stones in distilled water and sea salt. And you put very little sea salt in this. Um, what was it? Uh, I put two liters of distilled water and it was half a teaspoon of sea salt. Dissolve that and then these sit in here for seven days to remove the negative energies that are kept inside the crystals. Crystals are natural memory chips. So getting rid of that stuff purify them, get them ready for new uses. Um, one thing I'd like to figure out is because I've carried some of these stones around like this piece of jade and one of these lapis lazulis, let me see which one it was, yeah this one here, um, carried them around in little bags. Um, they've rubbed on other stones and other things in my purse and lost some of their luster so I have to get a tumbler to return some of their luster. This aventurine, the same thing happened to that. So I definitely want to get their shine back. We'll figure that out. Okay, and then um, what have I got over here? My other stones that for one reason or another I didn't feel that they ne needed um, to have their power restored. And some of them can't. Like halite, that would dissolve. And magnetite because of the iron in it um, that might rust and other ones that have some iron in them and these are too little and if I put the bottle I thought about putting the bottle in there open and letting the water in and then letting it evaporate but there's so many little nooks and crannies in there it might just cause a mold so can't do anything with those unfortunately um, Good thing is I don't use them too often, or maybe I can just pull out a couple and refresh them that way. I don't know. I gotta think. What's this one? Why didn't I put that in there? Albite feldspar. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't put that one in there. What's this one? Sometimes I have to look them up. Uh, oh, of course, obsidian. How did I know know that? Yeah, obsidian needs to go in. You're going in, buddy. There you go. Obsidian definitely going in. And hopefully those numbers won't come off because I need them for IDing them sometimes. Not a very good geologist sometimes. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Okay. Look at this Labrador. Ugh. That's sometimes known as moonstone. Comes in different colors. Look at this. Oh my god. That thing is just beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. Lots of love and light. See you later.